back again. More secret. This time up against Viking. So I think they have some... They definitely have some good fighting chances here. That mid. It's just a case of the race between Spirit, Storm versus Void in this game. I mean, the, the, mid, the, mid, the mid Spirit lane is definitely an important one to, to look at. And uh, it's going to be a very early first blood here. No, and uh, to be honest, for both sides, they don't really care about the situation now top where all the supports have fleed from the top lane because a lifesteal is going to farm and so is a Bloodseeker. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, they're farming heroes. They actually find the Snapfire out because, of course, once you have step, this slows enough for you to easily hit the stun. But Storm is the type of hero that can quickly just ball like this way. What? Fight going on. They do bring down the Drow with the Kisses. Celery in way too deep. Yaps will just go for the TP out. It's two kills going the way of Secret. But what are your options? You can't go top. But to man is, is definitely not going to be a kill anytime soon. Oh, Maybe in He's taking a lot of damage here. He's just going to run it off, though. They are able to run through and kill Puffy. Drag in on the Yapsaw. Going for the Stomp, but too much damage. We'll bring him down. Both supports die, but they get the cause out. Looks like Zai's still being chased onto under the tower. Doesn't have a cookie for 10 seconds. And they are diving this hard. Voice for it did TP out. He's running on his way to the bot lane, but it's going to be too late. Zai does get killed. And it looks like they'll all get out in one piece. By yeah, me, I feel like this is he's speaking too soon. Boom, though. Might be. Yep, that's no mana. That, that, that's a big mistake. Yeah, uh, he, he stuck around way too long. I mean, I think the rotation and the idea and behind it is, is very good. All right, that one's a little harder. Be in trouble here if he goes ooh, ooh. the wrong like way. He is. Uh oh, they catch him with a slow, and they drag him in. But he's a blood right on cooldown. He couldn't even defend himself. He sidestepped the stomp, but. The damage is already done. Celery does save him. Gets under the tower to safety, but Celery ain't so lucky. The kiss is finish him off. Aramis will look to roll away, but he didn't put down a remnant. They're going to dive this. Converging from both sides. He bats one away, but the numbers are not on his side here. But Timmerman will be reinforced by the Void Spirit. Uh, allow him to clean up the kill before reinforcements arrive for Viking. And uh oh. Boom. This was an ambitious TP, my friend. Just about gets away the ball line for the actual step. Oh no, he didn't dodge out the damage, but luckily it wasn't enough. I'm not really sure what the grand plan here was. I mean, if eventually you get the axe on Poppy, you know, you, you, you could see the the lich flying in with the, the, only thing with the chief black hole. His deaths. They actually bring down Poppy, but Tumba Man overstays his mark as well. The roll, the, the, the reveal of the orchids there. Oh, it's And uh, Poppy actually died to go. He's away. Yeah, so at least they didn't give over too many kills. But it is a big one to find with some man. And Kiss is on the shot. That's going to be a big kill if they can get it. They're trying to interrupt him. They do get the stars out. Now they're on top of Zai. Trying to run him down. But Nisha moves in. Trying to look for Ventures on the shot. Yours. It's time. Blood Riot won't work on him. He's still moving forward. Looking for the kill with the Remnant. It does drag him. But he hasn't got any cuts anymore. They do mistime the roll. But they will keep him alive. However, Puppy arrives in time to turn it and make sure that the Drought does die. But now they're running out of heroes to throw at this. They know they're going to lose another. Puffy tries to run it off. Death is an inevitability for the past five. The last fight has stunned die a little bit. I mean, he's getting closer. 600 gold out from having the axe complete. But, you know, this gets time for Viking to get the next times. Their mech is almost complete on Bloodseeker. And they smoke. They go again. Bottom tower is under Said it would be a good time. Because if you find Zai, if you stun his axe even further... Oh, oh, no. That was greedy. He gets down to the low ground with the cookie. But the stance was thrown out anyway. They'll roll on. And look to run him down. Chain Frost bouncing around. Boom will stand his ground though and just bring down Puppy as well. Really the Ags reveal you were looking for. But they'll smoke immediately afterwards. It's a little less expected, shall we say, after that that whiff the temp in the mid lane. Yeah, and Shad here has to be careful. It's I mean, going to break. Rock shot. Movement in. Breaks up the fight. Boom gets to the back line with Aramis as well. The burst of through the quickly here side. Down to half HP already. Has to cook the out. Gets hit by the silence though. They've lost Puppy. Boom trying to move away. Nisha has to stand his ground. But he's got no spells left. He's dead. Now, chase on his side, rolls off the mark, but he's extremely low on health. Life Stealer needs some assistance. They've lost the app store as well, and they're just duking away from the Life Stealer. They kill everyone on the side of Secret. They turn around. It's going to be a team wipe, and Viking, they don't lose a single life for it. Yeah, you can now, see they the are going to be the ones picking up all these boundary runes here, it looks like. Mm. Uh oh. Yules, trying to get away. Party gets silenced. He's in a lot of trouble here. That was cocky, even by a voice for its standards. Zero. No, 
See, it's, it's the wrong approach. We just need to break everything. And we always focus on nerfing things, PyCat. Why don't we just... We buff everything. We never nerf things. Two years from now, we rename the game Dota the One Punch Man Edition. And they might do that to Toby. He's, if he gets caught here, he's dying very fast. And he's the one for our Yules. It's going to be a gobble up straight away out with the Infest. Nice swap and get away. They have lost Puppy already. And Celery in trouble, but not for long because Mr. Man needs to run. The race is running out. They ping it. They roll in on him in time. Remnant is trying to defend him. Manta to get him out quicker here, but the silence is too much for the Gust. And they'll be able to run down and kill off Mutuma Man. He holds on for a while, but not long enough. And they hunt for more. They find Yaps, or they force the BKB out of Aramis. But they're still hunting. Boom still got mana to work with, and he's still got bodies to play with as they'll find the ET. It's a triple kill for Boom, and just outside of Team Secret's base as well. Zoom into the fountain. Oh. Done it. Oh! Uh, too busy to jump for Puppy to even kind of respond to that one. Boom down to half base. He needs to be killed. Does get back up once more, but they can't get a follow up. They have to infest and run away. They forced out the BKBs. Now, when it resets. Well, one good thing for Secret is the App Store is now going to have this Lotus Orb. It's going to be kind of useful against all of these silences. Double? And in. Oh, he's gone. The App Store was the right target. Natural Order is a beast of a spell. One more cape to try and get Yap out. Cookie as well. Stunts on the boom. Turn around. Bring it on a half HP. Trying to burst it now quickly, but it's going to be swap out to save the day. BKB gets out of there. Yapsaw is down. Celery. Able to retreat under the guys of the Glimmer Cape. Kids are going to come out now. And they turn around to the Man. Bring him down. Move forward on his eye as well. He has nobody left to assist him. As they'll get Puppy out of the equation. As they run him down the side. And Zai just stuck in the tree line with nowhere to run high. Blinks away. Silence interrupts the Cookie out to safety. And he's dead. Yeah, I think they that go for it. That should be all she yep. wrote. Game one. Go on the way, Vika. You know, this wasn't some kind of haphazard. Whoops. You know, one big mistake from Secret and, and Viking took it. Vikan for quite a while in this game, have been setting the pace and dictating the outcome of this one. I like Secret's draft a lot more than I did the last game. And Shad in the bottom lane. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. Throws out the open wounds, full defensive, but the splinter blast gets and Yatsu gets first blood. Nicely done by the wife and then... Yeah, they might just have to forfeit this tower. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult to hold this. They're gonna look like they're gonna try though. Toby's messing with might be a bit. here on Toby. Uh, well, Muzz is coming in. Light Strike Array is there with the Dragon Tail as well. They're bursting down quick. Looking to move away, but there's the arena. Slow comes out. They're staggering the stuns, but instead, Cold Embrace has to be thrown out inside. There is going to be Kisses now, but Boom is not a good target. He's so tanky. Dragon Tail thrown out. Winner's Curse is going to be there under the DK. Traps in the Lina, so they can easily take out Aramis instead and toss him across. And there's the Chrono onto two. They'll bring down one. Boom is still pretty tanky on the side. They're in a little bit of trouble. Puppy's going to be brought down. Toby. He's still alive. Dragon Tail thrown out. Nisha not able to follow up onto the Dragonite. And that infest saves his life and allows Shad to now come out and fight with them. With no tower to protect them, Secret need a way out. The Corn Embrace will once again buy time. Come on, man. He does have the time ward. But they're just taking their time. They realize that in a traditional battle, you know, they have enough to sustain on the side of Viking. They don't have to care. Toby is low. Spear doesn't hit into anything, though. Yep, they ping it out. Go, why the hell does that not work? There are many things you cannot pin people to. Yeah, Secret kind of overlapped their cells there. The, the Wyvern ult and the Snapfire ult, they were kind of overlapping. and They didn't really get the most value out of those. No, they're, they're going again. They're really obsessed with Boom right now. Cold Embrace once more. Shad will just change targets to detriment though. But to my man, nice stun. Zai is low. One bash comes out. One more hits enough to bring him down. Cookie does connect with the Toby. They're getting him low, but he's too tanky again. They just don't have the follow-up damage to clean these kills. Toby finally does get brought down. Nisha has to back away now. But to man now in trouble. Laguna zaps his ass. Yep, so we chase on to Puppy as well. Aramis is staying on top of me. Has got the LSA, but Nisha is chasing in. Hot pursuit continues. As Aramis looks like he's going to be picked off. Nisha once again netting some kills. And on the side, Yapsa will eventually go down to the two cores of Viking. But now they still have the numbers. Nisha has been ignored for most of this. Will have to be addressed now as he gets the kill on the Chen. But they don't have the damage anymore. One very odd fight occurring over the last minute and a half of this top lane. And look at what Matumba Man actually has uh, chewed up here. He's got, the, he's got the Midas on top of the Master Madness. Oh, he's here. Clearly, this is just about all the attack speed, so you can constantly bash Toby. Oh, he has to commit the Chrono. He gets it in the end. The Arena goes down as well. Pin on the Celery. Does get him low. He's got the mech, though. He gets off. He's got the Hand of God to keep him up. But the Kisses are enough to screw him over. They'll just run him down with the taps of the Spear from Zai. And look at that. Nisha says, nice. Two for the price of one. Jumps on a boom. Too tanky to bring down. Chad, when his curse is going to be there, they pin Dragonite to the tree. Aramis has got the LSA looking to assist. Chad does need that assistance. He's located inside me. Boom. Does get close enough for the open wounds. 
But once again, Secret, they're just running numbers here. Stay on top of them and be relentless. LSA does connect. Laguna, good. But Simon Man is brought down. Side gets the spear out onto Aramis. Nisha, looking for the kill on the boom. It's not enough, though. Then what's, one's going to keep him up and healthy. And LSA turn around on the Tiny. Cookie to get him out. Isn't going to be quick enough, though. Has to turn around the Avalanche toss. The right clicks are coming out. It's enough. Double kill for Shadow. Turn around. Find the triple on the Puppy. Viking finally able to amass the damage to punish Secret as they keep balling out as I mean, with all these melee heroes trying to attack, it's just... It's, 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 it's six... It's some six uh -oh. melee cores here. Uh, um, a little bit awkward from Aramis there. As the LSA does die. They used to the kiss us, though. Now they're in trouble. Yep, just being chased on. Jazz got the wins curse. No chance to turn around and use it, though. Yeah, no, of course, you, you want to be getting a bit more oh. value. Oh, no. They found Nisha these as well. Is going to go down here. Drangtail has been delayed by time dilation, but the bashes are going to come out from Toby in a sec. The body blocks, though. Shad working against his own teammate. Boom moves in to make sure he cannot get away with the fling. And there's the Dragon Tail finally. The follow-up damage is enough to kill off Tiny. In one crush and you can pretty much die on this void. And Speaking he just has to forfeit all these creeps on the bottom. There's the bomb. Straight around a Tiny Corn Brace comes out. Arena goes down. Toby does get trapped in and Shad says, I don't know you. And a god is keeping him sustained for the moment. He's tanking the entire load of this. Finally, they have to commit more. Toby does get away, though. He's able to move away from the fight. Yaps will now in trouble. for the winner's curse. But Boom is not in range to start hitting Shad. He sidesteps it and moves around. Chen is going to go down. But Yaps or being chased on two. Needed one more hit. Nice save from Puppy. But Boom able to blink forward and find the pick again. And once more, big ultimate's committed by Secret. Same exchange in terms of support kills. Now they may have to back up completely. Like, you've still got the Chrono, but, but where's your damage inside it? You have to leave someone behind. And Zai, he's the one that gets picked. He turns his back to his enemies and gets shot down quick for it. They even managed to find Puppy as well. Boom, with the mobility of this Blink Dagger, finding pick-off after pick-off. As they'll hunt forward onto the post 5 snap bar. The net? Toby, there's the Blink. It? Nah, I don't need it. need it. Blinks his stuns. Well, they might want it now. If they get it in the end. All the while, you just see Nisha. Every moment, he's like, well, maybe I could go in and I could, like, blink and I could... But where's my follow-up? He's getting getting close to being that that big boy. Mm -hmm. Chad. Sees Nisha. He hits him as well. The rage means he can't move away. The root holds him in place. We'll go for the TP out. The boom is there. The LSA is there. In fact, all of Viking are there. He's spelling, rather. Yeah, it's going to be very useful Nisha. against the Wyvern and the Snapfire. If you can take out either support. Ooh. Nisha. Nisha once again gets caught oh. up here. They got LSA in a second. You saw Aramis, he backed up because he didn't want to get hit by the Avalanche. Reinforcements coming. Boom activates BKB. Chrono on to two. Reinforcements are coming. Aramis will fall in that Chrono, but that's looking like that's all they're going to get. BKB activated, still running for Boom. Means he's going to be okay for a few seconds to move out of the arena on top of Puppy. They're looking for him. Winner's Curse is going to come out. They're well on the Dragonite, but he's got the cheese that's not easy. They'll chase forward with the Rage, able to kill a Puppy. Looking for a reset on the fight. Buyback comes out from the snap fire, but the infest and a retreat from Toby will be successful. Boom. In trouble. Dragon Tail reinitiation in. Matumba Man gone. Dead for 70 seconds. TP away by Nisha. Will be successful at least. But that backfired quickly. Secret got a little bit too cocky and Viking slapped them down into their place. The heart of a warrior. Backed up by Splashing McSplashing as Toby starts to set the ground upon which Secret cannot set. The tower gone already. Nisha jumps in. Pierce is trying to do the damage. Not going to be good enough, though. As it gets interrupted quickly, Cold Embrace comes out to protect the Tumba Man. No Chrono for 20. They can't afford to lose targets just yet. But the Winner's Curse is a waste. Shad still had the Rage running. LSA comes out, moving in. Toby's done on the two. It's good. They turn on the Tumba Man. He's able to get away. That Puppy is going to be brought down. Dead for 70 seconds. That's going to be his dieback. Not that he had anything left to contribute after that quick interrupt of his kisses. And the melee racks will fall. Just a lack of damage that is sorely hurting Secret as they've lost two lanes. And Very commanding position of this game. And, and they go for more. Tumba Man is still away, away from his BB. If he gets forced to Chrono here, they're done. So this could be the one that breaks them. Chrono's going to come out. He needs this kill right now, though. The boom cuts the back line. They look on the Wyvern instead. Bring him down. Toby's still alive. He lives through it all. Had to go to heal him up. Flyback comes out from the Wyvern. Arena goes down. Toby is going to be pinned. Boom has his BKB, though. And Shad is way too tanky to deal with. They'll turn around to Tiny, who does have the cold embrace. But Shad, too tanky. Just zoning away the forces of Secret means they have to leave Tiny behind as he gets burst down. They'll move forward onto Mars next. 
Look to clean up size. He stands his ground. A Valiant Warrior will fall. This is a double kill for Boom. Yeah, Matoma Man also on this top lane. I think if he goes for this entire wave, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And I think Matoma Man is just... It's too late for him. He's done. And Chrono was no just more. coming off. Oh, God. One, two, tap. Goodbye, Mr. Glass Cannon. And they'll move into the base. They see an opportunity. Cotton Brace forced out into Puppy to defend him. He's now in a little bit too deep. Laguna does get Puppy low. Cookie will get him away from Boom for the moment. And Sight, this is important. The Bulwark is redirecting fire to save his Capitan. But who will save him? He'll scream back to El Capitan, but I don't know if he can help. Kisses are going to come out, jump in, forward on the Yap Store. The damage is too high. Cold and Brace will keep him alive for the moment. Buyback comes out from the Void, but you've already used the Kisses again. Aramis will be ran down in the meantime. They are in deep here. Winner's Curse, Toby. Needs to be a little bit careful here. They don't want to commit the Chrono too quickly. They want to make sure there's a guaranteed kill. Toby looking to move away, though, in his own splashy area. See the cheese able to stay alive. Avalanche costs to bring him low. Arena's gonna go down to stop the reinforcement. Shad does move in. Looking to back up Boom here. Corn and Brace. Bash is coming out with Matuma Man. He is protected for the moment. The damage is too high. He's dead. That's the dieback. Secret. Up against the rope. The ropes have broken. And they're falling out of the arena quick. Buyback will come out from the man with the arenas himself. But what's the follow up? Where's the damage? They'll just stun up. Lagoon on Nisha brought low. Will be killed off. Sai goes in deeper. Will die once more. And it looks like this is gonna be a 2 0. Go in the way of Vikings. Usually at this point, we strategize how you get them in the, in the fountain. And they got Shad in the fountain. And didn't, that didn't even work. Like, that shows you how gun and done this game is. Oh. There it is. Yeah, and a very uh, just solid performance by, by all of Viking here.